Hey guys, today I'm gonna do one of my favorite videos to film and that's an empties video. And I've collected all of my empty products for the last 10 months. So it might be a lot, but I think I did pretty decent. And I'm gonna show you today what I used up, but I'm not gonna do a whole extensive description of all of these products because that will be an hour long video. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I used up the last 10 months. So the first product I get out of my bag is this Nivea uh, in shower body lotion and I actually didn't use this all the way up because I did not like this at all. It did nothing for my skin, I did not like the whole in shower concept of it because I have other products that work better than this one but I don't know what happened to the bottle. It looks disgusting. But yeah, I won't be repurchasing this Nivea in shower body lotion ever again. Then another body product I've used up is a scrub by The Body Shop and usually I love the scrubs from The Body Shop. It's like my holy grail, I don't use anything else. But how this scrub has disappointed me. I did like the scent though, but the consistency of the scrub was just terrible. When you put this on it was like, oh yeah nice scrub, scrub, another swirl, scrub and then you will be just left with this creamy substance with none of the scrub particles left in it so I did not find this good as a scrub but it was a moisturizing scrub but I did not enjoy this because I like a little bit more of a rougher scrub so I won't be repurchasing this body scrub by the body shop ever again but I will be repurchasing other ones and then a product line that I've talked about many times on my channel is the Cayenne Fructis Oil Repair Tree line and I actually tried something new out from this line, it's the leave-in conditioner but I will not repurchase this product simply because I like leave-in conditioners to be in a spray bottle and it did not work out for me, I love the scent though and I love what it did for my hair but it's just too big of a hassle for me so I won't be repurchasing the leave-in conditioner again but if I could I would repurchase the shampoo and conditioner again but Cartier Fructis has revamped their whole line of shampoo and conditioners and these aren't available anymore in the Netherlands so when I go back to Germany I will check out if they still have these ones because I love them so much and they are just so moisturizing and fruity smelling and just awesome and yeah I would repurchase these ones again if I can find them and then a product from the body shop that I did enjoy was the Satsuma body polish by the body shop. And I did use this in combination with the scrub that I showed you earlier by the body shop. Simply because, like I said, the scrub from uh, the Honey Mania line was as uh, scrubby as I would like. So I did combine this with the Honey Mania scrub and then I would enjoy the Honey Mania scrub. I did enjoy it, I liked the consistency of it, I liked that it foamed up because it's a body scrub and a shower gel in one, but I did enjoy it. Would I repurchase this product again? Yes, would I repurchase it in this specific scent? I'm not sure. I think I did like the strawberry scented one better. And then staying with the Body Shop products is the Find Your Peach Shower Gel and I do enjoy the Body Shop shower gels very much. It's probably like the only thing I use with shower gels but I love the scent so much. And sadly, again, this scent isn't available anymore. It's only available when the Body Shop has a big sale going on but I do enjoy the scent of peaches very much. So every time I can find a shower gel that has peach in it, I actually will try it. But this one is just so good, so juicy scented, so fruity, it's, it's just so good. And this was the second bottle I used up from the body shop, the Fire Peach line. And then I used up a hair mask and it's the Dove One Minute Hair Mask from the Oil Care line. And it's for uh, dry and damaged hair. But in my book this wasn't actually a hair mask, it was more like a deep conditioner. But I did love the scent so much. It was like, it smells like caramel to me, but it actually has argan oil in it. And it just smells like you have found yourself in a candy land every time you go into the shower with this. But I don't think I will be repurchasing this one simply because it's more like a deep conditioner. And I actually want it to be like a full on hair mask that does everything for my hair that repairs my hair and makes it smell good and makes it 
feels so soft and this product did not do that for me but I did enjoy the scent but I would not repurchase this one as a hair mask but I would have repurchased this one as a deep conditioner and then I got a little bit more excited for some expensive hair care products and these are the John Frieda uh, Dream Curls Frizz Ease line and oh boy how I, I enjoyed these products I simply did not know how much I missed these products until they were both gone if you have hair like me so a little bit frizzy on the drier side but still wavy curly hair these are the products for you with the conditioner i did not need another detangler to go with it simply because it detangled my hair so well so it's money very well spent and i actually did repurchase the conditioner again because i missed it so much john frida you stole my heart with your products and now I want to try more products from your line. Actually, we're not done with the body shop just yet. I actually used up a body butter of theirs and it's the passion fruit one. And I used it up till death. It actually smells really bad right now because I was holding on to it for so long. <laughs> it smells so bad right now. But it's one of the most moisturizing body care products. Uh, it, it has something on there. But the scent of this, it smells like those little yogurts when you were younger. In the Netherlands, we have this thing called Danone. In my opinion, they smelled like a Danone. It's like a children's yogurt with uh, something like raspberries, or it just smelled like that, like ch children's yogurt. But it smelled so good. I'm not gonna smell this again because it stinks right now. Yeah, I finally used up a body moisturizer. It took me so long. So yeah, the body butter by the body shop in the passion fruit scent. It's and then I used up two eye makeup removers and I actually branched out the last 10 months. I used up the Kanye eye makeup remover for waterproof makeup. And I did enjoy this product, but it wasn't as good as my good old cut fat eye makeup remover. Simply because the feeling I got after using this product wasn't... It made my eyelids feel oily and I didn't like this at night. So I think I won't be repurchasing this one again. But if my eyelids got a little bit more drier, maybe I will go back to this product. But for now I'm just staying with my good old Kruid Eye Makeup Remover. And I also talked about this product in many empties videos, I think. I go through like five of these a year. They are just the best eye makeup remover out there. And then the thing I started doing about 10 months ago was washing my face with a facial foaming cleanser. And these are the two I used up. The first one is by Nivea and it's from the Aqua Effect line. And just in general, a foaming cleanser in the morning is just so refreshing. It's, you know, when you were younger and maybe you're still doing it. I'm not judging, <laughs> but when you were in the bath, you just made facial beards with foam and this is a little like that in the morning I actually don't make beards because I have such little time in the morning but if I did have a little bit more time I actually made facial beards with these products but back to the product the Nivea Aqua Effect one that I used up was just so refreshing it had a really nice scent to it it did not dry my face out it was from normal to combination skin and it was just, just really refreshing and a little pick-me-up in the morning. I really got awake with these products. And then the second one I used up is by the Hema and it's from the It's a Beautiful Skin Day line. And this was a hydrating facial cleanser. And this one was a little bit more hydrating than the Nivea one was. But I did enjoy the scent from the Nivea one a little bit better. But this one was also very refreshing. It did not dry my skin out. So which one of these two would I repurchase? I'm actually not sure. Maybe the both of them. I did enjoy them very much. And then I used up a facial toner. And I used this one after I am done using my facial cleansing mousses. And it's a Nivea Pure Effect Stay Clear Toner. And this is like my third bottle of it. I've talked about this product probably in an empties video before or in a favorites video and it's just 
such a nice toner. It doesn't leave my skin dry or irritated. It's just a really fresh scent to it. And yeah, I would repurchase this one again simply because it's just so gentle for my skin. And then I used up some more facial cleansers and these are by Neutrogena. This is the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Wash Gel and I've used two of these up. Two. And yeah, I used this one for at night and in the shower to get all of my makeup off. And I'm not a very, very big fan of the scent. It just smells like dishwasher soap to me. Because of the pink grapefruit, I don't know why I have that link with pink grapefruit. But I do think it smells like dishwasher soap. But the product itself is so good. It doesn't make my skin feel left dry or irritated. And yeah, it gets my makeup off very well. And yeah. I used two of them up. Then another product by Neutrogena that is a little bit more harsh on the skin. It's the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Peeling. And I don't use this daily. Simply because I find that it's too rough for my skin and a little bit too harsh. Because it has peeling particles in there. So I don't know if it has any acid in there but it does leave your skin burning i do enjoy using this even though it sounds horrible using acid on your skin but it makes my skin feel so soft afterwards it does dry your skin out so have a good facial moisturizer put on afterwards but it's just such a good feeling having your skin feel so soft afterwards it i this was also a repurchase and would i repurchase this one again yes because i don't find it hurting anymore but the first time you will use this it's it's bad you will think Ugh. and don't get this in your eye it's uh, mm. i had that once i thought i was going blind so be patient with this product be careful with this product and you will love it be cautious with it and then on the other spectrum of facial cleansing gels I have this DM Alverde Aqua Facial Gel and this one was very moisturizing. It did a good job with getting all of my makeup off but the texture and the substance of this product was very weird to me. Because it was a gel, it did foam up but it also felt a little bit oily like it had oils in there. It did not make my skin feel dry at any means, I actually felt like it moisturized my skin. And I just fell in love with this product. It's... Oh, that sounded really commercially. But I am obsessed and in love with this product. And as soon as I ran out of this, I also... I can only get this in Germany. So the next time I went to Germany, I picked this up. And oh, I'm so glad to have it back in my life. It's just so good. And it's also vegan and not tested on animals. So if you're vegan and you want something cruelty free this one is the one for you because it also also is only just two bucks and yeah i am obsessed obsessed with this product and then the last facial cleanser product that i see in my bag is the kanye mislair facial water and this one is supposed to be a dupe for the bioderma one i have never used bioderma so i don't know actually why i said that but it's supposed to be a dupe for it and I don't use this to get all of my makeup off. That just cost me too many cotton rounds. But I do use this to get the last bits and pieces of makeup off my face. And it works pretty good and it leaves my skin feel moisturized, not dry at all. I actually uh, bought or sucked up on this product like I have three bottles laying around here somewhere. This one is the first bottle and it's also halfway gone. So. I do enjoy this product a lot and I will repurchase this one again. And then I have a very luxurious facial product that I got to try out in the last 10 months. And it's the Clarence Hydro Quench Cream Gel Moisturizer. And this was just... Oh dear. This was really, really good. My skin just calmed down when using this product and oh, it's just so good. But it has a really, really hefty price tag in my book. It's 50 euros or something. Would I repurchase this one again? If I have a really nice payday one day, 
and I might repurchase this one again because it's just so good. It helps clear my skin out, it just calms my skin down, it's just... I did not know what I was missing in a facial moisturizer until I used this one and oh, it's... Mm, I want another one and it smells so good and I have nothing bad to say about this product except for the price tag. So the Clarins Hydro Quench Cream Gel. And then the last category of the night or the morning or the afternoon depends on when you're watching this is makeup and I have a few bibs and bobs to show you first up a very disgusting looking essence lash and brow gel and I use this one to set my brows but it just looks disgusting I have not used this up fully but it just started flaking on me and that's a sign that you should throw this out but I already repurchased another one of these and then the next makeup product that I used up is a concealer and it's by NYX it's the HG Photogenic Concealer and I also talked about this product many times on my channel and it's just one of my favorite concealers out there on the market it's not full full coverage but it gets there I use this one for under my eyes because I have very bad dark dark circles and this gets the job done it's very affordable and yeah just creamy not drying or anything and it's just one of my favorite concealers and then I have four mascaras to discuss and two of them are high-end and two of them are lower-end drugstore so the first mascara I want to discuss is by Yves Rocher and it's a 360 degrees mascara and I did like the brush very much this is my type of brush it's just a plastic brush with long bristles on it that gives your lashes separation and length but I did not like the formula of this it smudged, it budged it smeared all over my face and yeah I did not like the formula of this but if it had a better formula I would really enjoy this mascara and then a more higher end mascara by Lancome it's the Lancome Hypnose Star Mascara and this one was out for the holidays I believe and I did enjoy the formula but I wasn't too big of a fan of the brush simply because it has too much product on there it gives a lot of volume, it does but you need to work really hard for it because this was a holiday mascara it's supposed to have glitter in it and it's not just the blackest black out there and I like for my lashes to re be really black almost like fake lashes but this wasn't it I did like the formula so if these two were combined I might have a holy grail mascara but I did not enjoy this one very much and then another drugstore mascara is by Essence and this is a Lash Princess mascara and it has one of the cutest packaging and the brush also was really interesting it's like a more curved mascara and it's supposed to get into your lashes very well but I thought it was an okay mascara will I repurchase this one again? probably not because I had to work really hard with the brush to get a good lash day out of it so I will not be repurchasing this one again but if you do like a little bit more volume on your lashes this will be the mascara for you but it's, it's just not for me and then I saved the best mascara for last and it's a Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara and usually like I said I go for the brushes with the plastic heads on there because that gives me a lot of separation but this one also has a really interesting one it's curved and it has a lot of bristles on there so at first I thought well you're gonna give me a lot of clumpy volume but as it turns out it gives the most beautiful separation and volume and length to my lashes is I don't know how this mascara works but it worked wonders on my lashes and it's one of the most luxurious mascara that I've tried out that actually worked so that were all of the empties that I used up for the last 10 months and I hope you enjoyed going through my trash if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye bye!